Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video for Ling Ling. Yeah, I thought why not make a video outside because it's so beautiful and I really hope the sprinkler is not gonna start because I'm sitting basically just besides one. I'm gonna be so wet. So yeah, if that happens, then uh, I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, welcome to another video from Ling Ling here. Today we are going to talk about my favorite topic, Taobao. Yeah. So before I'm starting, please give me a thumbs up for this video, subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling. So without further ado, let's get started. My friends refer to me as the Taobao Queen, by the way. <laughs> Hack number one for Taobao is that when you're buying perfumes and you're not sure which one you really like, you can buy samples on Taobao. So you're buying these small amounts. So you can buy like five or six different samples and you can smell all of them and try them out. And if you really like them, you can buy the real one, the big one. And yeah, that's how you know which one you like if you don't want to go to the shop or if you try it in the shop and you're like, I don't really know if I like it or not. So yeah, that's what I've done before. It's a really great way to save money and don't buy a perfume you really actually don't like. Hack number two is also a really great one. So maybe you, as me, really like reading books, but you're a student and you can't really afford to buy books. Books are really expensive if you don't have Amazon to go to. Here there are an English book section for Amazon, the Chinese Amazon, but it's not great. Yeah, so basically what I do, obviously they don't have everything, but on Taobao, I will search for the title I wanna read, the book I wanna read. And uh, then it, afterwards, I write 电子书 or PDF, which basically means that they're gonna send you a PDF file with the whole book. So if you're studying abroad in China, it's really nice because you can have all of the books on your computer. And if you feel like it, you don't wanna read it on your computer, you can always print it out. Uh, the university campus always have really cheap printing. So that's another really cool thing about Taobao. And also it's so freaking cheap. So I buy most of my books books like 10 or 20 RMB which is so much cheaper than if I bought the real happy book and again as I said if you're going home you don't have to carry the books or give them away you will have them on your computer so yay hack number three yeah, I don't know how much you know about Taobao, but Taobao has a really bad reputation abroad for having a lot of fake products. In recent years, Taobao has gone through some lawsuits against like, I don't know, Gucci or some really huge expensive brand in America. I don't know the story as well, but what I know is that before when you wrote Nike on Taobao in, in English, then it will come up like both the real products and the fake products and you can see the differences in the price and the quality. But recently because of all these problems they're kind of hiding the products more so there's still a lot of fake products it's just more difficult to find them well what I have realized is just that you can still buy like the fake Nike it's just that the Nike shoes or Adidas uh, the fake ones are hidden under Korean trainers if that makes sense so you have to write Ulsang I don't know if it's a, a Korean brand or whatever but basically if you write that it will come up and then if you start looking at some of the, the fake products then Taba will automatically think oh she wants this kind of thing so it will come up with a lot of you know suggestions of other shoes and then you can check the reviews and if it's a good shoe for 50 or 100 quai then there you go you can have really cool shoes uh, for a cheaper price uh, it's just more tricky to find it now but as I said it's usually hidden under something else also another thing is like if you're looking for like let's say Sarah I assume Sarah has a, a Gungtang here was a factory here in China so basically I think the factory is selling out the like parts well I don't know I think they produce again is what I think I think they produce a lot of clothes and then they take an amount of that clothes and sell it to Chinese buyers and then the rest they send it to the Sarah shop. So on Taobao you can see the official Sarah shop and then you can also see uh, the other sellers where the price is like so much lower but it's basically the same clothing. Yeah so I've done that a lot uh, just bought like Sarah clothes from 
those sellers one amazing thing is that they have the normal sizes for me so I can fit everything it's not a problem which is so 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 amazing I'll put some links below to some of the stores that I use then you can see it if you write why I'm out <coughs> a lot of foreign clothes will come up which means that it is our sizes so if you're a little bigger than a Chinese like me then you would be so happy about this because basically everything is in your size I really love this so yeah again as I said it's really cool you can check these things out just the Wai Mao and uh, Shibaya and like you can also write if you want Sarah you can also write set and then a little star then or like set and Jia for a shop or store yeah <laughs> I'll write everything here so you can see what I'm talking about and then I'll put some links below so you can check it out Okay, hack number four is also really really cool Oh my god, I shouldn't say it's cool because everything is really cool about these hacks But uh, basically if you don't have a Chinese bank account and you know somebody Chinese or somebody with a Chinese bank account Then you can buy stuff on Taobao and then you can click let my friend pay and then you type in their number their phone number and they're gonna receive a message from Taobao and then they're gonna pay for you and you can send money to them I used this a lot before when I didn't have a Chinese bank account or I didn't know how to set it up with Taobao and the bank account it's just a great hack I think so maybe even though you don't have a bank account you can still shop on Taobao <laughs> Yay! Oh, hack number five. Another thing I do to find clothes in my size or like oversized, I search for MM. I have, I have no idea why this means bigger size. Maybe you guys know, I don't know. But MM, if you write MM, like if you write like girls clothing in Chinese and then you write MM, then it's, come up, it's gonna come up in bigger sizes. But always when you scroll down, you should check how large the clothes is because an extra large times five Five, sometimes fits me and sometimes it, I only fit like an extra large like it's so different from every single clothing I buy so yeah that's another thing mm and then you'll find what you're looking for if you want bigger sizes and then number six is just I don't know if it's a hack but like never buy clothes just in a normal size medium because you're used to using a size medium at home because as I said you can never trust the Chinese sizes you have to scroll down and I'll show you guys here how it looks like and uh, you can check there how big it is or like if it's stretchy or you know because I remember one friend she came here and she just went to Taobao and bought like everything in a medium and he she has like really big uh, boobs and I was just like yeah girl you're not gonna fit into any of that like you're a very positive positive person but it's not gonna happen so just saying guys number six don't buy just randomly buy it check out the sizes check out the measurements not the sizes check out the measurements to make sure those were the six hacks like this thanks I had for you today I hope you like it uh, if you have other really good hacks for Taobao just uh, leave a comment below and let me know and let your our friends know everyone here on on a youtuber yes I hope you're having a great day evening wherever you are and oh yeah if you didn't give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up thank you and I'll see you again very very soon Ling Ling Sao Chia and Ta Jin bye bye